Hi, this is a short introduction into the editor from Recon Audio for the Waldorf Blofeld. Um, this editor can be used standalone or as a plugin, and currently I'm running it uh, standalone, and this is version 2.0.2. Um, it's not just an editor, but also a patch manager, and I would like to show you a bit around in the patch manager. And maybe I show you also some of the editing features, but um, I'm not that familiar familiar with it currently, so the focus will be on the patch manager. The patch manager can be opened over here, and it will show the uh, patches from the current uh, file. And um, when we select a patch by double clicking it, it will be loaded into the Blofeld. It will be loaded into the editor uh, buffer, so it will not be written to the Blofeld. This is convenient for um, previewing sounds without uh, uh, putting them into the Blofeld. If you want to write them to the Blofeld, you have to use the sync feature. You can sync from the file to the Blofeld or get all the patches from the Blofeld to the editor. And you can do this by patch uh, or a whole bank or all banks. Currently we have selected bank H. Uh, you can only view one bank at a time. And within this bank we can drag and drop the sounds. Um, this can be done with different modes. Currently this is the copy mode, but I can also select a swap mode or a move mode. I like the move mode best. So when I select a sound by clicking on the number, I can drop it at the location I'd like. I have to drop it on the name, not on the number. This will not work. And then because I'm in move mode, the sound is moved to a new location. You can do this for each sound, for each patch, but you can do this also for a whole block by selecting it and moving it. Of course, you can also use the swap or the copy mode. When you copy, then you will get a duplicate of the sound, of course. There's another feature in the patch manager. When you have duplicates, then it will show the duplicates. However, um, my experience is that it doesn't work completely correct. For instance, I've currently selected Captain Kirk, and now there's a green outline around Captain Kirk. According to the manual, this means that the um, patch has the same name, but the data is different. However, this is a copy from Captain Kirk, so this is incorrect. It should uh, show a purple outline, um, showing that it's completely the same. Uh, sometimes it does it correctly, sometimes not. I'm not sure why, uh, but um, it's, at least it's uh, convenient that you can see that there are duplicates. However, you can't be sure if it's uh, a data duplicate or just a name duplicate. Um, there are several options. You can save your patches to a file or load them from a file. Uh, there are two different formats. The one is uh, FXP or FXB and the other is SysX. Um, you cannot uh, use MIDI files. So if you have your sound bank in a MIDI file, then you will have to load them to the Blofeld first using other software. For instance, the default software from uh, Waldorf and then you can sync it with the editor. You can uh, do some editing over here as well, uh, like randomizing and clearing the patches, and you can uh, change the suffix or prefix from the patch names, which is convenient if you have, for instance, your own patches and you would like to have them all have your own suffix, like I did over here. Uh, last, you can also see the category of each uh, patch by clicking, right-clicking, I have to say, on the number. 
and it will show the category and it will show also a rating. However, you can't edit the category and the rating can't be changed either. Um, I showed you the patch manager uh, for the patches, but you can also use the patch manager for the multis if you have. Then you have to select the multi tab. And of course you have to put your blow felt into multi mode. And then you can use the patch manager for the multis. And this works uh, the same. Um, also in the patch manager, by the way, you can save each patch individually in one time. Save all patches as CSX or as FXP. However, on the Mac at least, this will not work correctly. Um, Beacon Audio uh, acknowledges this and they will look into it. Okay, now the editor. Um, the editor can be used to edit the sounds. You have the main page with all the settings of the patch. And the second uh, tab is showing the, um, the uh, matrix for uh, changes and also the appreciator. And uh, you have the multi tab for the multis. Um, if, of course, I'm use, uh, using the patch editor, I have to go back to the patch uh, system. And I can select now one of the sounds that are in my file. And you see that the um, edit buffer is uh, showing the same sound. However, it's not written to the blow felt. Now we can edit the sound using the uh, buttons over here, but also using the blow felt. So for instance, when I select uh, filter uh, one and I change the cutoff, then you will see that the cutoff changes along with it. There's also a uh, MIDI monitor to see what's coming in and going out. And, um, you can, uh, for instance, when I select a uh, other patch uh, on my uh, uh, on my blow felt, then it is not changing over here. Uh, so when I want to have the patch currently selected on my blow felt, I have to get the edit buffer, and you can do that with this button. So now I get the edit buffer from the blow felt. So all the buttons are synced. Um, you can also get the patch, then it will be loaded into the uh, file, or you can get the whole bank. The same way you can also set, send it to the edit buffer, uh, which is normally not necessary because it's automatically sending it to the edit buffer. Uh, but you can also send the patch to the synth and then it will be saved to the synth or the whole bank. Um, well, that's all I have to tell you about Recon Audio Editor. I hope this is uh, helping you with getting some information about it. Uh, see you next time.